Today what we're going to do is some beautiful Tasmanian salmon. This is going to be the goods. This is really, really, really simple like most things we do. I'm going to run through the ingredients list because what we're going to do it with is a very simple rice with ginger, chilli, butter and soy. So come over and have a look. Here's our rice. Now we cooked our rice last night so we let it dry out a little bit so it's good for doing our rice. We don't want it too wet. Got a bit of parsley, that'll go on at the end. In our rice we've got some chilies, some pickled ginger, some soy sauce and butter. That is going to be a decadent rice. Over here we've got a bit of simple store-bought mayo. We're going to put some wasabi with that. Salt and pepper to season this up. With our salmon we're going to cook it with a little bit of sesame oil, some vegetable oil. We're going to baste it with a little bit of ABC which is like a thick sweet soy, beautiful this stuff, and a little bit of sweet chilli. We're going to put with it some asparagus because we love our asparagus, some lime to squeeze over it, and some spring onions. Of course our tassie salmon. We'll put our pan on the flame, just put a little bit of warmth into that. It shan't take long because it's a very thin wok. And then over here what we're going to do, now I left my basting brush at home so I've cut the end off my spring onions and I've made a basting brush. Will this work? We'll see. A little bit, now this is so easy. A little bit of sweet chilli and our sweet soy. And this is sort of going to be a little bit of a, a glaze. So what we're going to do, give that a little, little mix up. You can see it was about two parts sweet chilli to one part of the thick soy. Let's get our basting brush. Will it work? Of course it'll work. Look at that. This is what we now we've left the skin on this because I'm a skin on kind of guy, and we're going to get that skin down into that pan now and let that sizzle away skin side first. So, here we go. Give it a little shake, to stop it from sticking straight up. Just flip our salmon over, and you can see we've got a nice little burn on there. That little burn is important, believe it or not, because that is huge flavour. We don't want to blacken it to death, but. Just a little bit of burn on there, and all we're doing now is we're just going to just, with the heat down a little bit, finish off my salmon on this side for about a minute, pop in the oven for about three minutes. Okay, so we've been going for about 30 seconds to a minute, we're going to turn that back over, you can see that glaze and that little bit of colour we got on there, that's all we want. And now, we go straight over to our tray with a lined tray, and that is going to go in the oven for about three minutes. In she goes, and we'll come back to that in a moment. We're getting close. We're going to get our wasabi. Now, you don't need a lot of wasabi, you just want a bit of a zing out of this. So you can see we've got a couple of tablespoons of um, store-bought mayo. We're just going to whack about oh, probably two teaspoons in. I'll give it a nice zing. What we're going to do is mix that through. And so we get a nice little bit of a See, sort of a pale, really pale green colour. We want to add to that a little bit of the chilli that we cut up earlier. A couple of our spring onions. Just to give it a little bit of a, a look and a little bit of an extra zing from that chilli. Right, so that is so simple. How easy is that? Right, now moving on. What I've done is I've put our rice that we did last night in the microwave for two minutes just to get a little bit of warmth into it. So what we're going to do now is we come back over to our pan. We want to get a small amount of oil because remember we're putting butter in this, but just a little bit to kick us off with. And what we'll do is we'll get our butter in. Now we've got to get our butter in, and that's about what we want. So just a tablespoon a bit. We don't want that to burn the butter, so we just want to melt it. Once that's melted, this all comes together. This is only going to take two seconds. So what's that meltdown? Righto. That's getting pretty close to where we want to be. Turn the heat back down. And now, we go in with our chilies first. Give them a bit of a swirl around. We don't want too much happening to them either. We don't want to burn them either. So as opposed to the salmon where we give it a crispy bum, this one we don't. Now in with our pickled ginger, we're starting to release our flavours into that butter. In with our 
rice. And because our rice has been pre-warmed, this comes together so quickly. And that should be enough for you and Black as Aaron, what do you reckon? Too much is never enough. Oh, look at that. I'm going to put that last bit in there. Why should not want one? Someone put that in their lunch later on. Now, what we've got here now is we have got all the components basically in for our rice. We're going to put huge more butter in there because we've got it and because we can. And now, the kicker, the saltiness, what we've all been waiting for. A couple of tablespoons of soy sauce to begin with. What we want to do is get a nice light colour. We don't want it to be too dark. And you can see, once we get all that mixture of a lot of that rice, that'll be just the perfect colour for us. So this is pretty much finished. So we're going to turn this off now because we don't want to cook any further while we attend to our salmon. So let's get our salmon out now and give it a bit of a basting. Come over to the oven. I might have died if I did. Alright, great. Right. Our salmon, we're going to just give it another little baste with our homemade basting brush. This has got another one minute just to get that to caramelise on top and then we're plating up. So I reckon this has taken us all of about 10 minutes start to finish. Pretty, pretty quick stuff. We'll put that back in the oven. One more minute and we're ready to roll. So now, let's get this plated up. So what we're gonna do on our board, we're gonna put some of our ginger buttered soy rice. And you remember our trick with the asparagus, where we just put hot water straight over it while we're plating up, so it stays nice and crisp and just gets hot when we put it on. So now, let's go to our oven, get our salmon out. What we're going to do is quite simply whack that on top, see how that's glazed up? Just perfect. We'll take a little bit of our wasabi mayonnaise, put it on top. We're going to squeeze some lime. And then in case you guys are sort of a bit limey, we'll put that there for you to put on later. We're just going to give that just another little basting. We're going to put some pants on it. So there you have our buttered soy and ginger rice with our Tasmanian salmon, wasabi mayonnaise, asparagus and lime. Happy days.